Arm Arang. From this parched earth, the nation of Nabath Arang once rose. When I journeyed here long ago. Is this the warrior of darkness spoke speaking? With a sun weathered elder. I'm assuming so. He told me Armarang meant majestic land in the language of his people. And so it might still be, were it not for the light's unrelenting onslaught. Oopsie. <laughs> Too much light. No matter how many times I come here, the cold never fails to catch me off. It's cold in the desert? The sky might be as bright as the scorching hours of day, but it gets brisk enough to make you shiver. Now, the Exarch's letter said I was to take you to the inner journey's head, which is where Alice's friend of yours is staying. But that's a fair old distance, so I propose to make a stop in Maud Soak to break up the trek, allowing me to attend to some business and you to enjoy the local hospitality. Sound good? Good. All right, you lot, I'm off. I better not see the goods covered in sand when I get back. Right, we're headed southwest, straight as an arrow. What are you experience in the regions? That's actually really cool. I love that as a concept of being the narrator. Because then he gives some insight into the past of the world as well. I will say the soundtrack for the zone is so lo-fi. Oh, it's hit, it's hitting me. It's hitting me right. What the absolute fuck is that? Is this just like, this is just like an Omega Cactuar. Oh, it's, it tried to do the Cactuar leap, but it couldn't. Oh my God. I both love and hate it. Wow. So I talked a lot of shit when I first started about why would people not use their chocobos in battle? And I used, I used Craigory, my chocobo for the entirety up to Heavensward. And then I ran out of Gisho Greens and just never um, bought any more. So the entirety of Storm Blood up till now, I just haven't used Gregory in a battle. And um, that's what they call hypocrisy, my friends. Oh my God. Why are your faces like that? I don't remember the kobolds having faces like that. So this is a Mord. <laughs> Master Gengen, this is the friend of the Exarch I was telling you about. Oh, I am ready to hear him voiced. Very good, very good. Though friend or no, all are welcome in Mordsuk. Suk is Mordish for city. As things stand, this Suk boasts the largest and busiest marketplace in all Armoreg. You'll find so all from the mines here, of course, but all manner of other things too. Many of them rare. Ooh. As I told you before, not many visit Armoring by choice, but Maud Souk's a different story. Merchants come from miles around to purchase Ooh, the relics. Oh yeah, the I imagine they they're like digging up relics back from a hundred years ago and selling them. Kind of interesting. I do like that concept. Now then, if you intend to spend any time here, you'll want to gain the trust of the locals. I kind of want to see my friend, but I guess and I'll do some, custom, like, menial quests. To observe. The cracking of the coin purse. You buy one thing from the market. Price can be low or high, just as long as you buy. <laughs> as the good In order to says, be here, buy fact, stuff. the Exarch sent a little something to cover this very expense. I can... I a have money. A gold piece, no less. The first I've held in years. Gold? Real gold? Oh. Here, newcomer, crack your coin pass with me. Oh no, you want my goods, newcomer? I have jars and pots, all smooth and shiny. 
Over here! Come and look! You why, you why? <laughs> you created a riot! <laughs> This one must still journey through the barrens. Nothing bulky, nothing heavy, no pots. Nothing better the poor than a full belly. Spend that piece at Ron Ron's place, yes? Eat the three before you leave. <laughs> poor merchants, they're all ready for a sale. He's like, no, 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 use it at the end. I do love his shawl, though. If I could buy that, I would totally. I need to... Meat. That's my ever-burning bounty, made with the best parts of the lizard, cured with specialties, special spicy spices. Some find the smell challenging, but I warn you what the chili dessert nights. Love, Ron Ron. Crypto, oh, crypto mining. I hadn't even considered that as a concept. Oh, oh boy. Toads, toads on a stick. I mean, that's horrifying, right? That's some Vlad the Impaler levels of shit right here. Oh, you like those chewy skewers? Find small frogs hiding under rocks, spear with a stick, and roast over a fire. Cracky on the outside, gooey on the inside, perfect for snacking. No thanks, that sounds horrifying. I do not want that. I call this much loaf. In the middle is stuffed with bitch cactus fruit, so even the bread dries out, it's still moist on the inside. Keeps you going in the heat. That sounds like the only edible thing so far. Worms. <laughs> Those of you who are new to the stream, um, my two biggest fears are water, like bodies of water, and bugs. So I don't particularly want to click on this plate, but I, I literally have to. Everyone's favorite plump white worm slathered in honey. Once you eat a... <laughs> Once you eat a glazed wiggler, you'll never want any other treats. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Ron Ron, for your <laughs> really fucking gross food. Like your cactus fruit pouch. They all look tasty, yes? We should choose, we should choose. Bread? Yeah, pretty much the bread is the only thing. It's called mush loaf too. Oh my god! Imagine shrimp. Those are just the bugs of the sea. Oh, very wise. You won't wither on the sand with a gut full of cactus fruit filling. You have the gold. I feel like I'm getting ripped off. <laughs> and done. One beau brute on a. Oh my god. Beau brutite on a buys you forty loaves of bread. I don't need 40 loaves of bread, thank you. Those will all go like raw, raw. Those will all go like stale before I can even like eat them. Oh, I did not like that chewing. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll share the rest. You didn't need to eat all of them, dude. Officer invites us to feast. Let's give thanks for his great generosity and small appetite. Oh, am I getting dunked on? And that was like the most generic stock cheer sound ever. I'm I'm being I'm being rolled right now. You know, I haven't done a southern girl voice in a while. I think I'll use that. Well, this is the lovely Tesla. It's been a while, but your Tommy couldn't be better. This gentleman was on his way to meet with Alice. I'm supposed to be taking him to your corner of the desert, but I misplaced an order. Has commanded my attention. Oh, wait. I know who you are. Alice has told me so much about you. You're Talail, aren't you? That's me. The cowboy himself. I knew it. How wonderful to meet you in the flesh after hearing all those stories. I'm Tesline. I work as a care at the inn, and I got to know Alice said quite well since so she took up guard duties there. I assumed Alice was taking up, like, guard duties with traveling merchants or caravans so she could get a feel for the area and kill lots of different things. I didn't think she was just going to be the guard of an inn. 
That seems a little weird. Sweetie, she does seem like a sweetie. You want me to take over Tlail's god, Cassard? My shopping's all done and packed for the road, so it would be no trouble. That would be a great help. Thank you. Well, looks like you've been able to head straight out after all. My caravan and I will be along for a while yet. Seek me out when you had your fill of our meringue, and I'll see you back to the Crystarium. Or I'll just Aether teleport. This is it. Thanks to you, I didn't have to drop my shopping even once. Come to think of it, I'm glad I didn't have to make the trip alone. It seems you ended up escorting me. I'll have to repay the favor somehow, but first, let's head inside, shall we? Oh, cutscene! Cutscene! Show me Ali say. It's been like three days, but I miss her. Oh, they look kind of defeated, huh? Those those beds aren't don't look very comfy. Welcome to the Inn at Journey's Head. You might be our first visitor from the Crystarium since Alice arrived. It's not much, but it's home to the afflicted of a handful of cares. The afflicted? Interesting. Are they light sick? You don't know? I don't think I've met anyone besides Alice who was so unfamiliar with our situation here. Most folk have grown up knowing someone who knew someone. Hmm. I might leave out something obvious, so it may be best to have Ali say give you the full explanation. Feels like I shouldn't be getting third-hand information from Ali say about this affliction. Because I know that actually a lot of people that I've talked to in my chats, they haven't played a Final Fantasy game aside from 14. Which is always a little bit surprising to me that the MMO would be there first. Because um, for me, Final Fantasy X is my favorite, aside from 14. Granted, I haven't played all of them, of course, but I really enjoyed 10 a lot. I played that so many times when I was a kid. Seven? Bear. I feel like I'll see a lot of sevens in chat. <laughs> You're like 12. Oh, okay. Oh, you started playing seven recently now. The, the remake or the original? God, that's so cool looking. This game has no right to be this beautiful. Oh, hey, it's one of the, uh, was Get it Sin Eaters? Here. I assume she would have like new clothes or something. Is that... It can't be. I, I probably shouldn't distract her from jumping off a roof. Oh no, she doesn't have new clothes. Yay. The beige that she had in the last expansion was terrible. Red's better. I like it. But she doesn't have her fancy... Um... Oh, actually, of course she doesn't have her fancy rapier. She wouldn't because that's still stuck on her, like, corporeal body. Interesting. All right. Did they... When they released the bunnies, wasn't it uh, gender-locked that you couldn't make a bunny boy? Oh, I remember being told that, I think. Impressive. Impressive. The first thing I say to her is impressive, really. Not Alice. Just a lesser sin eater. Nothing to write home about. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later, but I had been hoping for sooner. Ooh, yeah, it's been a year. Sorry. Took me a while to open the gates. How are you? That's it? That's the big emotional reaction. The boy see my Ann Walker. Oh. They were upset about the fact it was gender locked, so they at and or they were said the boys were added at all. So if they're upset bunny boys are added, that's wild. Watch your first videos before being too busy to keep on. Yeah, I release a video a day. If you guys miss my videos, I do not blame you. I put I put up a lot of videos. 
I, I made a goal for myself to put up a video a day, and I've been sticking to it for months now. Oh, they're married. That's cute. No cat boys or roll women. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm I'm glad I'm glad they released cat boys because that's who I am now. I am cat boy. I was expecting more of an emotional reunion, you know? We fought them to a standstill then. The Exarch did say that the Empire seemed to have drawn back when he last looked in on the source. But without knowing for sure how fast time was passing there, I couldn't help worrying that a lot might have happened since then. I'm heartily relieved to hear that it hasn't. Imagine I come Just out like 50 been. years has passed, as Ali say. 50 years! From home when I, arrived. I haven't actually seen Thancred and Yishtoli yet, but they will have heard all the latest developments from the Exarch by now, or should have at least. When I think of how frantic Tataru and the others must be, I want nothing more than to rush back and reassure them. Don't worry, we sent them a letter. But we still haven't found a way to reverse the summoning. And even if we had, we couldn't just ignore Urielje's vision. He may use ten words where one would suffice, and they may often obscure as much as they reveal. What? But on this matter, he was as clear as day. I do not doubt for one moment that he saw what he claims. Urielje never. How difficult it must have been to speak about them. The Eighth Umbral Calamity and your death aren't exactly oh. topics for either. MG Rex, thank you for the follow. Rex, good? I'm not sure what you would like to be preferred to, what you would like to be preferred to be called by is the sentence that came out of my mouth. I'm not... As much as I might want to go home, I don't want to go home to that. We can't allow the rejoining to happen, which means we have to save the first from the Sin Eaters. We'll do that by poking them with the, the pointy stick over and over again. And eventually, that we'll solve wall it. Of white is a remnant of the flood. Called it. A Big brain streamer. Ago, the balance in the first tipped decisively in favor of light. From that moment, it rose and swelled with each passing day. And then, without warning, it burst forth like water from a broken dam. A colossal wave of pure light, drowning everything in its wake. Only Norvrant was spared. Oh, cool. For the most part, living things are composed of ether of various different aspects. But when exposed to such a flood, their etheric harmony is shattered and their natural form breaks down. They, they're just dissolved? How'd you die? Oh, I was dissolved at a molecular level by a wall of light. Holy moly. Or are warped into mindless abominations. Yes, that's how the Sin Eaters came to be. Unfortunate. They were once living creatures or people that were caught in the path of the Flood. Once the change is wrought, there is no going back. In that instant, they are gripped by an insatiable appetite for ether and will happily gorge themselves on any living thing within reach. But even that is not the worst of it. The stronger Sin Eaters can plant light in us, like seeds in soil, corrupting our ether and triggering the birth of new monstrosities. Oh my god! That's really, it's like light zombies. How are you gonna have, like, zombies made of light? I hate this. Oh my god. They are creatures of base instinct that exist only to feed and to multiply. They feel no pity. Know no remorse and are utterly deaf to reason, which is why they must be destroyed. Every last one of them. Yes, please. I don't want to be infected with the seed of light. That sounds the gross. The infirmary is full of the Sin Eater's victims, left here to spend their final hours waiting for the change to overtake this, them. This really is like a zombie apocalypse. We're, we're keeping the, the people who are going to turn to zombies with us, and then we're going to put them down when they transform. It's horrifying. I hate that. 